Welcome to Junkyard Haunts, where we turn trash into haunts. Today we're going to be making a scarecrow. Uh, the first thing you want to do is make the head of the scarecrow, which I'm going to actually be using a milk jug. Uh, in order to do this properly, you need a skull that is not meltable, so, so it can't be plastic. I'm not sure what mine is, I think it's like ceramic skull. And then you cut the top of the milk jug off, put it over the skull so it completely surrounds it, and then you use a heat gun and start melting the plastic around it. Uh, this is a, a slow process where you just heat up a little bit of an area and uh, use a rag or something that is not your hand, because you'll burn your hand, and push it down with that so it gets into the crevices and holes. You won't want to leave the heat gun on a spot for too long of a time or else it'll actually melt down to basically nothing and completely stick to your your skull or whatever you're melting onto. So you just do a little bit till you get that little clear look on it and then just push it down and then let it cool off while you're working on other parts. Push those parts down, come back, push it down and heat up the other areas and just keep doing this over and over until it gets the shape you want. Uh, the key is to just keep taking your time and just keep rinsing and repeating. When it cools off, sometimes it reforms into the old milk jug shape, so it undoes your little divots that you made. So you just go back through and just keep making them. The more you do, the, the better it will be. Then you just need to cut the milk jug apart and tape it back together. You want to make as few as cuts as possible, but enough to get it off of the skull. Because that way you just use less tape. But you can cut it in half, it doesn't really matter, because you're just going to tape it back together. I'm just using some regular white glue and cutting off pieces of burlap into fairly large pieces, but not enough to cover the whole skull in one go. Uh, this is to cause it to make it look a little more creepy, old and torn. Usually if things are built in pieces it, it looks better in my opinion so that's why we're, we're cutting them in pieces. To use this type of glue though it, does, it takes a long time to dry so you actually have to glue it and then just hold it there for a long time. I had to cut a lot out but it was just mainly me holding the, the burlap onto the skull till that glue dried. After you get the burlap on the scarecrow, we're actually going to take some black paint and paint in his eyes to make it look deeper and more menacing. So you take a little bit of paint and paint in the eyes and actually when there's not much left on left on the brush, then you'll actually start painting outwards from the eyes so it looks a little bit more gradual until it gets into the darker parts. And now it's time to actually start building up the scarecrow now that we have the awesome head. Now we're actually going to take real sticks and glue it straight on. I'm actually using hot glue, which can break off pretty easy. And so because of that, I do use quite a bit. But in a lot of parts, actually, after I glue it down, I take a little bit of string and glue that string and wrap it around the sticks. I find this to, to make it much more secure and much less likely to break. Uh, while building this, the glue did break off a few times, and basically every spot that I did see it break off, I would glue it back on, take a little bit of string, and then glue that string on as I wrapped it around a few times. And this made it much more secure. I probably should have done it everywhere that I made that glue attachment, but I didn't end up doing it, so this prop may not last as long, so make sure when you do it to yours, you actually use a lot more string and rope and tie those sticks on. I'm actually working with another YouTube channel where I'm actually using his music, so I figured now might be a good time to go ahead and play that for you, and, and don't forget to go check him out. Now we need some clothes on our scarecrow, and so we're gonna go ahead and just use more burlap. We're gonna make like a shirt or a vest type thing, which is actually really easy. You just lay the burlap out 
and make sure it can cover the whole rib section and then you double the length of it to make sure it also covers the back and take some scissors cut a little, a little neck room and cut a line down the front of it to make a more of a vest and it's it's really that simple and just like making the head of the scarecrow we're gonna use some regular white glue and just glue the burlap straight onto the sticks but now and since it doesn't have to be so form-fitting like the head did it you can actually just glue it on it and let it sit and dry in its own you don't have to hold it down so it's much easier the harder part now is actually decorating his clothes to make it look more old and rugged and you know how you always make scary things but that will just take more scissors cut out holes here and there and just make sure that there's no straight lines on the edges or anything and here's a better view of actually gluing on the string that I'm talking about that goes around the sticks so you just put a little dab of hot glue and then stick the string on it and that will keep it secure in place you wrap it around both sticks a few times put a little dab of glue on and just continue until the very end and you put your last little dab of glue to make sure it doesn't unravel I'm gonna be making these props every Monday so make sure you subscribe and follow along check out more props of mine we have a big section now so go ahead and head back and don't forget to share with your friends and I thought to make it look even better, we would go ahead and, and take the scraps of the burlap that we had and glue them straight back on and just random parts here and there. Even gluing them on straight onto the wood on sections that aren't part of the burlap. And we do this both in the front and back. You cut holes in the back You take more scraps and actually just glue them on in the back as well. So it, it's more 3D since you will see the back of it. And then to make it look more old and rugged, we're actually going ahead and, and take some brown paint and just loosely paint all over the burlap. This will really make it look much more aged and all around better. You can actually go back to his head part and do the same here, where you paint a little bit more of the brown on the head. I don't think I did that, but you know, the more time you spend on these things, the better it always turns out. did it guys we made a project that doesn't fit on our table i knew many of you doubted but we could do it don't forget to hit subscribe and share with all your friends leave a comment below and tell me what you guys want me to make in the future uh, at the end of these i like to go over things that i could have done better this one's a hard one i actually really like how it turned out so i think maybe just to make it better would have made it more menacing is if i would have cut his jaw open and opened his mouth and like put teeth and you know, arr, I think that might have made it better, but I think it turned out really good. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs>